Okay, so welcome back to another episode of Aquamate. Awesome to have you on board. We just picked up this package from the front door. It's from another local company and I can't wait to get stuck into it and I'll show you what's in here. So you might remember a few months ago we made a video about the Australian blackworms. I got a dried pack of blackworms. We fed it to the fish, they loved it. And it was awesome to give a bit of a shout out to a local company down here in Victoria. Uh, they were really kind and they sent me a few little things just to say thank you. Uh, so today we're gonna show you how to look after their live worms. When you receive them in the mail, what you should do and how to keep them and how to make your fish enjoy one of the tastiest snacks they're gonna have. So this is just the, uh, the mail package. Let's cut this open and get in. A few moments later. So, we have this polystyrene box, keeps everything as insulated as possible because black worms do not like the heat. You'll find out a little bit more about how they look after that shortly. There we go, it's on good. <laughs> Alrighty, we have 250 grams of live wriggling black worms. <laughs> we just have some news. You get like extra bonus news when you get them. <laughs> now they just packaged this on top of what is now really, really cold water, but it's basically like an ice tray. They try and keep the worms as cool as possible in here. Uh, so they should last a couple days when they're being posted out. Let's open this bag and I'll show you what to do. We've got to rinse them off, get them nice and clean, and then we want to put them in a nice cool place. All right, so what I've done is I've just filled up this bucket with some water. I'll cut the bag open and try and get all of these worms out. Not drop the bag. We want to just rinse everything off. They've been in the mail for a couple days and we want them to be as clean as possible and as happy and healthy as possible. So, sort of just mix them through. The water is staying pretty clean, so that's a really good sign anyway. But it's probably recommended to do two, two rinse throughs. Um, get as much of the, the muck as you can out of the, the worms, although they're really clean. <laughs> um, Sign of just another good product. Uh, what I'll do is rinse these through twice and then uh, we'll put them into some packages. All right, so what we're looking for here when we rinse them is nice clean water. The water is perfectly clean. These guys are really good. You're looking for any dead worms. Dead worms might float to the top. Uh, looking for any flat worms that might be in there. I can't see any, but if you see them, you might want to remove them. Otherwise, fish will eat them anyway. Basically, it's like we're giving them a bath. So these guys look good. I'm going to get rid of this water and then we're going to split them into small containers. All right, so I've got the three containers here. Uh, I'm hoping to probably only use two. You can see the strainer works really well or the net works really well as a strainer. So I'm going to use one of these uh, tissue culture plant containers to try and scoop out a bunch. They're nice and stuck together. That's what happens with black ones. They get stressed out and they'll stick together. So you're probably looking at it thinking, well, I could fit all of those black worms in one container, but you don't want to, you want to give them plenty of room. Um, when they're stressed out, they will curl up in like a big ball and the worms in the middle can suffocate. So you can't just pile them in on top of each other. Um, trying to keep them. It's a messy job. <laughs> There's not many there. We can split this up a bit better, I think. Grab some there. All right, so you can see over here, they're starting to sort of spread out a bit. Less stressed. There's not too many in there that they're gonna make each other suffocate or anything. But the key now is to keep them nice and cool. We don't need to put any holes in any of the lids. I should have enough air in there pop these on and then chuck them in the fridge.
the next day. Now simply grab your container out of your fridge and give it a little rinse through in here as well. Make sure that you continue to clean the black worms, rinse them out, and then they'll be nice and fresh, ready for a good treat for all of your fish. There you have it, that is live black worms from Australian black worms. They are a really good treat for your fish. They are really beneficial. Giving your fish live food can help them in so many health ways and also can spawn them into breeding and give you better looking fish and happier fish. Now this all stemmed from me buying some of these dried black worms. These are a nice handy way that if you don't want to worry about the live food. Uh, I've been feeding them to my fish for years and years and years. And my discus used to love these. Uh, you can get them in 10 grams or you can get them in larger 50 gram bags as well. Well worth it, great treat for your fish. Another really cool way to do that is get them into cubes. It's the same product except with the cubes you can squeeze the cube up against the glass of the fish tank and it will just stick there and all your fish will take a fair few minutes to slowly pick away it and eat it. Creates a feeding frenzy and it's really fun to watch. A couple other ones that I didn't know about was it's this is a similar product except they've also added spinach which is high in iron so it's got some other health benefits for your fish. And then there's this one which is the biopigment so it brings out a lot of those red and orange colours in your red and orange fish. <laughs> Lastly but not least these are the pallets. These are good for your bottom feeding fish. A lot of this stuff is very light and it's just going to float up to the surface very easily. Uh, these ones will treat all those catfish out there uh, and make sure that they get a good feed too. Australian black worms do ship all over the world to other wholesalers so you can get these products in America, Canada, England uh, but it'll probably have a different logo on it so keep an eye out look for some Australian black worms when you go shopping next and I'm sure your fish will thank you for it. That's all we have time for here today. It is stinking hot, so it has been a tricky one to try and get all this sort of done as quick as I could to make sure that the worms didn't get too warm. And now they're in the fridge. I've got plenty of food for my fish for the next couple of months. They're gonna be super happy. So if you wanna get some black worms yourself, head over to their website. That's the best place to uh, make some inquiries. Get some shipped out and uh, treat your fish. Until then everybody, thank you very much for joining me on another video. Remember, if you get new fish, always acclimate them first. I'm Josh from Acclimate, I'll see you soon. What a wonderful world.